Hey kids, Inverted Cal here. Welcome back, or welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker. The most buggiest game that they have created yet. Bar none. I have played a lot of alpha games and, and you know, you expect a few bugs. I bought this game, it was on sale. I, uh, it showed up on Humble Bumble for, I think it was 25% off or 20% off or whatever it was. Good deal. Pick it up. No big deal. Had my eye on it for a while. When I got the new computer, I was like, ooh, I got a computer that can actually, actually play this game now. So I picked it up. Uh, I have played the heck out of it. I, quite honestly, if you look at my character up at the top of the screen, I don't know if I can get a mouse here. Yes, I can. Um, my multi-billion dollar debt is down to just over 600 million uh, in coins or, or debit. And my LT, I've got some pretty good uh, LT. And I'm pretty good rank. I'm rank 28 out of 30. So I've got some practice. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do a hard space hard uh, space shipbreaker series. This will not be a regular series on this thing. I wanted to bring you in to show you what they have done when they introduced the totally rad bug update. You see, one of the problems is is they have inadvertently banned me from uh, Discord. Not because of something I have done or something anybody else like me has done, but simply because I'm one of them people who refuses to get a cell phone. And I most definitely will not be giving my cell phone number out to random websites for no reason, if I had one. So, uh, because they have problems with bots, or trolls or whatever uh, you have to now verify on discord with a cell phone and they absolutely refuse completely totally absolutely refuse to, to talk to anybody no matter how long they've been on discord uh, about working around this problem okay I've been a member of their discord channel for uh, over a year when this was released uh, early last spring, originally, uh, I started following it. I jumped on their Discord. I've been hanging out. I've been lurking. Uh, don't really interact with folks a lot because, you know, I'm just following the game progress on the Discord. And now I'm playing the game and I can't post to their Discord without verifying my stupid cell phone number. So this is strike number one right now, boom, right off the top, violation of privacy, I'm not happy and will not, I am not getting a cell phone so that they can have a number that I don't think that they have any right to even consider asking for. Um, so I can't post bug reports there. What I am showing is the bugs, the hideous, terrible, wretched, duplicatable bugs in this game that I have been encountering since their totally rad update. So let's jump in, shall we? And we'll have a discussion right off the top of the number one thing that's been pissing me off, the menu. Up to this point, you're looking at what has been a pretty standard, easy on your eyes, not too obtrusive, menu and then you get this monstrosity ready for it that's right they bring you into this thing now this isn't too bad in itself until you decide you want to start scrolling down now remember I'm using the Xbox controller okay so using controller scroll down I want to look at my equipment now at this point in time it's pretty decent except for one little thing now I got to switch over to mouse here for a second so I get a pointer you will notice I have the identification of the piece of equipment I'm looking at what it is I'm looking at 
all of the different statuses up to this point, all the statuses of all of my equipment, what, what working condition it's in. That's not bad. Previously, I could simply use my mouse, con my, my controller. I could click on one of these things and I just push one button and it was boom, there's my repair. Now, to repair, I have to open the menu and now I can actually repair. But you'll notice there's something else that you don't see. My links tokens. How many tokens do I have to spend? You see, it doesn't tell you this information anywhere on this screen until you start toggling through these stupid little things on the side here with your controller and you see down in the side it says, oh, you have 1800 links tokens out of the 1100 you need. <clears throat> but you have to literally go into every one and start scrolling through these things until you find one you haven't purchased to see your links tokens. Every single one of these. You can't just scroll down these and go, I need to fix this. Boom, hit Y button. Boom, hit Y button. Boom, hit Y button. Boom, hit Y button. Bang, 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 bang. There's my repairs all done. Takes me three seconds. No, now you gotta sit there and spend 10 minutes scrolling through these stupid menus. Let's go back. Now, I suggest if you're wearing headphones, take them off. The next part gets loud. <laughs> That's right, the data miner screen has changed. If you have an unknown um, data, it shows up at the top, or, or an unencrypted data. And I've been finding encrypted data is right up for ages. Um, previously, what it would do is, one, it wasn't this ugly, hideous, harsh, green text. It didn't have that great startup sound but what it would do is it would just basically pop the thing at the top and then you click on it and it would dump it somewhere in this scroll that you have to slog through to find i just ignore them I, I you know what i just i don't have time to sit there and go through all the backstory but oh look i would just <laughs> there we go i'm using the down thumb pad and all of a sudden, for no reason whatsoever, it vanishes. That's right, there's one of my big problems with the menu. The Xbox controller doesn't work. For no reason whatsoever, it will just stop working. See? Can't scroll up. Stops working. Um, very, very frustrating. The controller, if you're using controller with this, forget it. Half the, half the menus will not work. The other half, screw up on you. So let's go back here. <clears throat> now, messages, as we all know, uh, are really, an, just basically really annoying. Um, don't really care about the backstory. I'm here to cut ships up. They pay me to cut ships up. They give me immortality. They say, hey, we're gonna make you immortal. It's gonna cost you a few pennies, but we're gonna make you immortal. All you gotta do, Drift around in space, cut shit up. Hey, I'm like, sign me up, man. I don't care if they even pay me for it. I was like, I got room, I got bored, they give me a laser gun and, a, and explosives, and they say, here, this might have some problems. I'm like, sure, no problem. And if you die, well, hey, we'll just charge you, we'll just get you a new body. It's like, okay. No loss, no pain, no gain. No problem. I don't really care about the, the storyline. I was like, oh, uh, the the one of hey, Rook, you know I'm not interested in in Lou giving me chat. Don't really care. Don't really care to hear from the uh, the 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 background garbage. Not interested. Okay, certification. This is a bit of information that's really not all that too useful at all. But as you can see, I am now at level 28 on my on my thing, and yeah, that's like whoopie do. Okay, stickers. If you're a collectionist, you like this kind of jazz. This is for you personally. As you can see, I have stickers on all of my stuff. 
No, I don't. Again, this is another one where the menu doesn't work if you're trying to use the uh, joystick because it will suddenly just stop working. It will jam someplace randomly and stop working. Now, one of the things that they added out here is these lovely little colored stickers. Uh, they're, they're trying to call them holo hologram stickers, but seriously, they're colored stickers. You get X number of these, you get one of those. You know, you trade it in for one of these. Let's see, oh, here's an upgrade one. You know. Yay. Does it really make a difference? No. Do I really care? No. There we go. And here we'll do a couple more. And upgrade. Confirm. Okay, cool beans. There we go. Oh, I got another one down here. Yay. The stickers just sit in your collection and you have millions of them. I'm not, I'm not a 16 year old girl and I don't collect scratch and sniff stickers anymore, okay? Sorry, that was great back in the 70s. Not interested. Yes, I'm seriously bashing on the game and we haven't even gotten into the game. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now for the moment everybody is waiting for, let's hit start shift. Now I just reset myself back to menu. So the last ship uh, or remains of the last ship are going to be completely cleared so I can start with a new ship. Now I want to find is one of the ghost ships. Now of course I'm grade 20 here so basically I've got every ship possible. After a certain point it don't matter it's just repeats of the same 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 same. Okay. Let's see if I can get me a ghost ship. Okay, there isn't a ghost ship in here, so I'll, I'm just going to grab a random ship and reset the um, the menu because I don't really care. So we'll just take a level zero ship. Now, if you played this game, of course, it's real fun. Oh, by the way, I'm going to hit another sticker. Yay, look at that. I unlocked a sticker for going more than 20 meters per second. That's so hard. Level zero ships, I don't even think I have to worry about air pressure. So, ventilating this ship's probably not even a difference. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. So, for the most part, when you're playing this game, you tear ships apart. You listen to some pretty cool southern background playing. Um, you cut stuff up. You smash stuff up. You throw it into the uh, into the appropriate holes. And I'm one of them kind of people that I don't mind taking four or five shifts to chop one of these things up. I mean, yeah. There's, you know, I'm not in, I'm not out for a race. I'm not out for, for fame or glory or any of that kind of stuff. You won't see any race videos from me uh, because I just don't care. I really enjoy the Zen attitude of just tearing this, tearing one of these things apart. Um, especially I come home from work after dealing with uh, people all day, customers all day, that if you know me at all, the real life me at all, uh, you'll know that I absolutely detest dealing with some people, uh, particularly entitled customers who come in and complain all day long to me about their insignificant lives and act as if I should really be upset about the fact that they have issues. Well, you know what? We all got issues. Yeah, this is just an empty hollow shell, so we're just going to scrap this thing as quick as we can. Um, it doesn't even have an airlock in it, so I'm not even worried about it. 
of all games if I want to. This is the gist of the of the mission. You just hack the cut points. Tear the, the hull apart. Thruster in here. No, this is a, a level zero ship. This is for practicing how to use your cutting gun more than anything. So we're not worried about exploding ourselves, so that's always good. Oops. I suppose if you were after being a collectionist, you could do one of these just for the mini me um, rewards. Uh, the mini me, of course, is uh, one of the stickers you get for stripping a ship in under 100% um, of the ship or 98% of the ship being salvaged in the appropriate uh, orifice. Um, it's not a hard sticker to get. I mean, well, it can be with some of these ships. I mean, some of the other ones, uh, a salvage runner, which as far as I'm concerned is a seriously broken ship. As soon as you cut it open, the entire ship explodes. Um, some of these ships, as soon as you try to break the airlock, the entire ship explodes. Is there not? This is processor material. This is all processor. Oh, cool. That makes it even easier. Hmm. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to zip this into the holes. to the center wall, isn't it? We go you you Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Salvage gains. Credits awarded. You're still attached. Forgot this one totally comes apart all on its own. I don't even have to worry about getting fancy. And then we got a cut. Yes, I'm being fast and sloppy with this. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to actually edit into the video. Um, but.
this is a basic ship teardown. This is what one goes down like. I want a ghost ship because I want to show you one of the biggest bugs I've been encountering and what I've been trying to actually get onto the Discord. The whole rant at the beginning there was about the Discord rant. Uh, it's because I can't report bugs. Oops, that was a furnace piece. Uh, I'm not going to get ghost. Or, uh, I'm not going to get mini me on this one, I don't think, because I think I've fried too much. That broken piece. There we go. Those and those are gone. There we go. Sloppy, dirty, quick, done. Accepted. Well, that's it. Okay, we're going to take ourselves a ghost ship. Now a ghost ship, uh, similar to the other ship, um, with hazards, has these nodes, if you will call them that. They're basically little AI nodes. It's part of the storyline, blah, 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 blah. Um, Oh, we're going to get another sticker, by the way. <clears throat> now, this one's going to be a little bit more tricky, of course. I'm, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to strip this down apart like I normally would. So, I'm going to probably just get two or three episodes of me tearing it apart. I will uh, highlight any explosions or any fun stuff that I do, like when things go totally south on you, as they have a tendency to do. Um, but what I want to show you, pay attention to, is you will hear the background radio has lost the music. And when it does play any sound effects, it's very scratchy and uh, unnerving. These are the so-called nodes that you have to destroy. They're pretty mellow until you actually start chopping them up. Then for some reason, then for some reason they get kind of pissy. I don't know why. Start killing them, they get mad. This is part of the new um, totally rad update. There's a radiation panel in behind there that you have to take down. Oh, here's one of the, <laughs> one of my favorite things. You have your gun out. If you push the X button, it fires the gun to give you the discharge to push stuff. It's also the same button used for picking stuff up. Um, I can't tell you how many hundreds of control panels and such I have hit with a full pulse. <laughs> and I'm sure some of the other people playing this game have done the same. Now, this has always been my... This is kind of my relaxation game. I didn't get this game to YouTube it. Um, there's lots of good YouTubers out there. The, the one that I was watching who uh, introduced this game, or who actually was doing a fairly decent playthrough of this game, uh, has quit because of these updates on this last update, this last patch. Um, and I think he's pretty much had it with this game. I don't know if he's actually playing it for fun or not. I'm just shoving this door in here because doors have a tendency to slam around in the cockpit badly if you, when you actually try to decompress it. Um, as do other floating objects such as people's heads. What are you? There's something on the seat. I have a detached node on the seat. Oh, stick that into the cockpit as well here. Normally you can't just rip those off. Okay, and there is no air compressor in here. 
Now this is one of the things I think is part of the challenge is they have introduced is, as you can see, the only thing to depressurize the ship is broken. So in order to actually depressurize the ship, see there's the other one, they're both, de they're both broken. So the only way to depressurize, of course, is to actively haul the ship, um, which has a nasty habit of causing it to explode. There we go, let's punch that. Uh oh. Get my crisp packet into the furnace before it burns up. Well, that's a thousand dollars right there. <laughs> Alright, give me this. It's reacting. Oops, barge is about me. There we go. This will actually probably annoy the nodes as when I fire the first one into the furnace, but this one's not active, so I don't know what will happen. Okay. So put a grapple on that. Crack this puppy open. Uh oh, we have something leaking gas leak. There's a gas line in behind here somewhere. So this can go in here. Good. This is one of the new uh, radiation things that they've added into the game. Dealing with it is pretty simple. You rip the outer cover off from the outside, go to cut mode, switch to uh, the stinger, stinger off the inner package, pull this piece out without smashing it around, throw it in the barge. When that goes in the barge, take the rest of the panel Remove that panel from the rest of the hull and fire that into the uh, process. So we're just going to quickly remove this panel. Weaver, don't care. Oh, I'm gonna get another sticker. There we go. All right, second shift. I've already torn the front half of the ship off, torn most of the parts of the ship off, that sort of thing. Um, so we're back at the second shift now. Some of this debris into the barge. That can go in. Go there. Now, now there's another radioactive panel. This one is, of course, uh, didn't have a cover on it, so that's fine. It's the same process, of course. We just zap it and then it goes radiation.
red node on the airlock. I think that might just be a thing. Oh, it's these two crafts. Okay. Let's check the reactor real quick, make sure we don't have anything on it that we gotta worry about. Oh, okay. Reactor can go into the barge as well. See my Now these two panels can go into the processor. This should be totally detached, but it isn't because there is a difference in this door. I really have to trim the scooch off of those doors and now this piece is detached and can go into yeah, I don't think we're getting a mini me on this one either. <clears throat> Worship in the session. Yep. All right, Cutter, you got five minutes left of this shift before they turn the lights out on you. Hit or batter. We wrap. We may have actually destroyed all the nodes. And if you listen carefully, you'll start hearing almost every soundtrack play. At once. If we've destroyed all the nodes. I don't know if it was just doing danger music and it was caught in the loop for a little too long or what. I thought we had one more node to take care of inside here. There we go. That's your cockpit. Where'd that? Damn it, I hate when that door. The door springs off and goes flying, and unfortunately, when stuff goes flying, it usually means it's going in the furnace. There it is. Come here, please. furnace when I'm done stripping you out. Okay, there's still a node left. Um, 
So we're still good. I think this is the last node to neutralize. Yeah, okay, the music's coming back on. Now, usually what's happening, what's been happening to me, is I'll end up with all the soundtrack playing. so I can actually hear what I'm listening to uh, to some degree. I can get this animation to work you will see one other bug that I've been having the music one I don't know if it came through on this one or not I do have a clip of it and if I do I'll if it doesn't I'll play that clip but this is the other bug that I've been having a lot of as you can see I have an animation from a tool on the screen this will follow you through menus As you can see, I now have an animation on the screen following me through menus. Um, and I can't continue through the menus because of it. Okay. I have to go back to mouse and keyboard to carry on through menus. Now if I go to start shift, of course, it's here hovering over the, uh, the thing. If I go to equipment, it's here hovering over the equipment. Um, but I can't use the mouse controller at all for most of these. But uh, that's a ghost ship. That's uh, this is also showing all of the totally rad new bug implementations that they've put in. Uh, I know this is really me venting off a lot of steam because this is me being really angry with a lot of things going wrong right now. Uh, not just in this game, but with steam, with my computer. I still got a lot of growing pains with my computer that I'm dealing with. Um, but thanks all for watching kids hope you're enjoying well actually i don't hope you enjoy I, um, this game in fact i would highly recommend hang on to your money if you see this game come up and it's on your list hang on to your money don't spend it go go buy something else go buy pong at least that game was stable um so thanks for watching good night for near for, good night for it the game's so bugged I can't even talk. <laughs> Good night for now.